Hey guys, what's going on everybody? My name is Blitzwinger, ladies and gents, welcome to an unboxing video, and I hope you guys will enjoy this video here today. Now, first and foremost, like I always say, if a video is sponsored, this video is indeed a sponsored video, so of course, I wanted to go on ahead and be honest and upfront about that, as I always am. So I've come together with Arc Innovations and uh, go on ahead and put together or review the Alexip 3DM Pro mount. So at least that was the initial plan. But then, to be quite honest, I am not super duper technical. And as far as like mice or computer accessories in general, whether it be keyboard or mouse or anything like that, I use what I like and I like what I use. It's really that simple. I don't get too in depth about it in terms of all the specific measurements of the mouse or the keyboard and so on and so forth. So because of that, I felt like the most genuine and honest way for me to make a video about this would be to just simply do a first impressions slash unboxing video where I'm just gonna discuss whether or not I like the product, don't like the product, and so on and so forth. So this is going to be a really, really interesting first impressions just because I'm very, very intrigued to see how this mouse actually operates and how it feels. That's the most important thing for me personally. Whenever I use a mouse for anything computer related or anything like that, whether it be on a laptop, hooking it up to a laptop or anything like that, really the most important thing to me personally is the weight and the feel of the mouse because if it's comfortable and if it has a good enough weight, it doesn't really need to be light, but it also cannot be too, too, too heavy because then it's kind of, it kind of gets very annoying and your wrist starts getting tired and so on and so forth. So hopefully this will be a nice balance of those elements. So as you can see right here on the side, there's a nice summary of some of the features of this 3D mouse, uh, the Lexip 3D mouse. And as you can see, it says that it has six degrees of freedom. It has a 3D joystick on the mouse, which is pretty cool. Seven program buttons, which would be very handy for something along the lines of of like editing or 3D programming or even gaming. So that's definitely quite cool. And then a 3000 or sorry, 3200 DPI laser. Now on the back, it does have a very nice summary in several languages. So of course I can't read this side. So if you would like to go on ahead and help yourself there, I'm sorry that I cannot read that. Uh, but it has in a much more in-depth manner, a summary right here on this side, as far as what the mouse actually consists of. But Let's go on ahead and actually get an idea of it first. Speed up the entire design, development, and creation process thanks to the 3D mouse. With just one hand, select, create, edit, move, pan, zoom, and rotate your 3D model and your environment. Combining innovation, comfort, and performance, the 3DM Pro is the ultimate tool for professionals. From drawing to sketch to part to assembly, no need to constantly shift between your navigation and editing. Your work will, sorry, you will work faster, smarter, and greater comfort. You will work faster, smarter, with greater comfort. That sounds pretty awesome to me. Once plugged, no way back. Okay, that sounds like a horror movie. Okay, let's hope it, this won't be a horror experience. So right down below that, we have some of the similar summaries that we saw here. So I'm gonna skip a few of those. Okay, sturdy packaging, that's good uh, to know. So the seven programmable buttons we already saw, but we did not know about the smart interface. Uh, detection of the 2D, 3D applications used in automatic profile adjustments. That's pretty cool. Non-slip rubber clicking scroll wheel. Ergonomic shape for comfortable working experience. That's very important for me. Soft touch and non-slip rubber sides for greater comfort. Okay, you could put those two up here for me. And then six ceramic feet. Okay, so that sounds interesting. I don't really know what that applies to, but let's go on ahead and start opening this up. So it is kind of cool that it has like a magnet um, siding here. I do like that, that's kind of fancy. So as you open it up, this is what you're greeted with. A nice, again, summary of some of the functions of the mouse and what it really does. So I think that that's definitely quite cool. And then over on this end, we can see the mouse itself. Just press the body of the 3DM Pro mouse forward or backwards to the right or to the left and use the lateral uh, joystick to simultaneously pan, zoom, and rotate your 3D model or environment. Now, this sounds really cool because, of course, the appeal of the mouse, as you can see, is that it actually tilts on its own axis. So if you've ever had a mouse, typically speaking, those types of features, I, I've had one mouse, I remember where it could tilt sideways like that. I don't remember which company it was from. It might've been Logitech, uh, but basically it would just do this, but it didn't. It did not have that rotation in simultaneously with 
this rotation and a joystick. So this really is something that I personally have never seen. But again, like I said at the top, I am not a super duper technical person. So maybe this is something that has been available uh, before or anything like that. All right, so let's set the box to the side and uh, go on ahead and take a look at the mouse itself. Now, of course, I also should mention this mouse is on Kickstarter. So if you are interested in picking up the mouse, I will have a link in the description box below so you can check it out for yourself. And here comes the moment of truth. This to me is going to be the most important moment. And that is how the mouse is going to feel. So I'm going to go on ahead and go for the lift. Woo! Okay. So this feels pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. So the weight is perfect for me, at least. I really do like that the weight is nice and um, the way that I would like it to be. So I want to see this. Whoa. Okay. So this is really, really interesting because it does feel really weird. Like as far as compared to a regular mouse, because I'm not used to it being able to shift down and up with me. But again, this is obviously a mouse that is made for primarily professional use. That's why it's called the Pro. Uh, so it's very, very interesting. Like the actual feel like it's not bad. It's just, I would try to compare it to like a bobblehead type experience where basically the, this platform right here is stationary and it stays put, I guess, thanks to these little rubber patches or soles. So that will keep it stationary. And then you can go on ahead and maneuver around the mouse itself. So you can bring it down, up, or over to the sides, which is really cool and unique for sure. Uh, it does move around the surface quite smoothly, so that's great. The clicking feels pretty good. The scrolling is really nice. Uh, same on the button. Like again, nothing too exceptional there. Um, I will say that th this joystick here, I feel like is a little too loose. I wish it had a bit more resistance to it. So that would be nice. Um, unless if can you pull on this maybe to slow it? Oh, okay, so that's kind of interesting. If you pull it up, kind of just like on the, um, a controller you can slow down how much resistance it has. So if you click it in, then it moves around very easily. Now, as far as the grip is concerned, it's pretty good. I would say that it's on par with some of the previous mice that I have used from like uh, Razer and, um, oh gosh, what's the other company? that I, Logitech, yeah. So those were pretty similar, like as far as like having this kind of, um, or like not leather, rubber, sole, or these buttons having like a different textured pattern. So that's nice. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised by the fact that it still moves relatively smoothly, whether it be on this wooden table surface, or if you take like a paper or a computer mouse mat or something like that, it moves pretty good. Cause I was a little concerned that based on the fact that it has these like six pieces here to try to create a nice platform to stand on so that you could do the you know maneuvering of up and down and shifting to the sides it's still kind of surprising that it still moves smoothly which is pretty cool so i do like that quite a bit um, as far as the wire is concerned um seems to be pretty good i'm giving it quite the tug i'm really just kind of testing it for quality of you know components and so on and so forth so if we take a look at this it looks pretty solid. You got a pretty good range on this. So kind of, uh, I don't know what this would be, maybe six feet or so, uh, maybe a little bit less than that on the wire. Uh, so that's the range that you get to work with. And it would be kind of interesting if they ever did make a wireless version of this, because that would be quite intriguing. I bet you that would be uh, even more practical just due to the fact that uh, if you think about it, just you know, as you're working away on a laptop or something like that, it would be nice to not have a wire. So I think that if that's something in their future, and if it isn't, it should be, because I think it'd be cool to get a wireless version uh, of a mouse like this. So with that in mind, uh, there you guys have it. That is the unboxing for the Lexip 3DM Pro, aka the first impressions right here on the Blitzwinger YouTube channel. Once again, I want to mention that this was a sponsored video, and of course, I want to Thank you guys for watching this unboxing for the Lexip 3DM Pro mouse. And also, of course, like always, guys, don't forget, if you are interested in checking out this mouse, you can go on ahead and check the description down below because it will have a link that will take you over to their Kickstarter page. So thank you guys so, so very much for watching today's unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. I'll catch you guys here next time. Peace out. See you later, alligators. Bye-bye, everyone.